if you're relatively new to using Gmail or G Suite and you haven't quite figured out your email signatures yet, this one's for you. Hey, it's Naren here from Positively Sorted and I help small businesses grow by simplifying their digital and admin workloads. One thing I get asked often is setting up uh, signatures in Gmail, particularly for people that are moving from Outlook. Um, it's a big adjustment. I've been using Gmail for seven, maybe nearly eight years and I love it. It does everything I need it to do. And I don't have to worry about uh, the newest version of Outlook or anything like that. Um, so I do have some good tips for the people that are new to it and <laughs> hating it because it often is a big change. And um, yes, I've heard before <laughs> people not liking Gmail at all just because that's so different. But today we're focusing on email signatures and I'm going to actually jump in and show you two ways that you can set it up. Um, a couple of things to note though, um, this is for on a computer, not on your mobile phone. So it's different setting it up on your phone and probably a whole other video. So we might get to that later. Um, the other thing is I, and you'll notice when I do the demonstration, um, they've recently changed what they call um, in Gmail. So there's your email signature section. And then the, the second way that I'll show you, they've, um, they always have forever have called this feature canned responses. And they've recently changed it to be called templates. And when I recorded this, um, little walkthrough show you how to do it they were in the middle of changing that so in one place it's called templates and in another place it's called canned responses so if you go in and look at it now it'll be called templates so without prattling on too much let's jump in and have a look so there are two main ways to set up an email signature in gmail so the first one is in settings here. If you're just in the general section, scroll down and you've got this signature section here. So you can put in all the details you want. The problem I have with this way of setting up your signature is sometimes it's a bit a glitchy with the images and doesn't always work so um, like sometimes it'll just come up as a, as a blank box so that's not great um, but and the other reason is it will put this signature in every single email you do so if you're if it's a reply if it's a um, so sometimes you might have different uses and different reasons you might want to have different email signatures so that's why I don't use this one um, that's the main reason because I, I do different things so what I use is <laughs> and dear love by the way my empty inbox it's rare but it does happen <laughs> um, so when you go to compose a new email where I, I use a, a feature in Gmail called canned responses and it's basically like um, templates that you can use so you can use this not just for signatures but also for sort of regular if you're sending similar emails to different people often you can set up a template that just puts most of it in there. It's a really great time saver. But I have a, a full signature, which is this one. And then I've also got a shorter one that I use for sometimes for replies or if it's somebody that I already know pretty well and they don't, they don't need the full spiel. <laughs> um, 
I'll use the shorter version. And then I also have a client that I send emails to other people quite often for about her, something to do with her. So I have a signature that sort of for somebody that may not know me, um, just explaining that I'm that I'm working on behalf of of Jeannie. Hi Jeannie, if you're watching. <laughs> so the to, the way to to set up canned responses, if you've never used them before, first you need to go into your settings and so back into settings again. But it's in this advanced section, and there are a number of oh hang on have they moved it so i only I, I was only in showing somebody else this a few days ago and it was still called canned responses now it's called templates um so you need to enable and make sure that's enabled and then just go down and save your changes and then to set up a new one you can um, put in signature like whatever it needs to be so set it up how you want it to look and then back down to this options bit again into your canned responses and then you want to save draft as template and I've already got these existing ones here so I can overwrite an existing one or I can save it as a new template and it'll you ask so if I go save new it will say yeah give it a name and just hit save uh, and then you've got them all there you can delete templates um, yeah overwrite ones that you've already got and that's it so there we go I hope that helps It'll definitely help you make look super professional in your emails. Um, another reason for using the canned responses that I didn't mention in the walkthrough is if you've got two people using or more than one person using the one email address, it just makes it nice and easy for different people to use their own signatures um, and yeah, saves a bit of mucking around. So yeah, let me know if that helps or if you're um, have any other questions about using gmail if you're a new convert um, or yeah even if you've been using it for a while there's certain things that bug the hell out of you let me know because there there are certain tweaks that that i know can help all right catch you later